Did you consult the Volvo? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others, I must answer myself. Do you think there's the place for Billy in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trigvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trigvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl? old as I am. This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The frames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Billy, trick me. Each man wears one of Hemingway's boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire of your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Nottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. A man the people can trust. Most love Billy, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn, but does he wish to? And trick me. Sturdy and wise and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor, put a stop to this fool's death wish. This is no small decision, Trukvi. And not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Hemminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Hemminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? Was your vow to serve Hemminger Jarl unto death? or to serve his legacy in life. I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor, more than I could have guessed. Eivor! Mm, Suniva. Pigs were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase. Ah, oh, stick. He should have roused me first. Show me where he went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with pigs. I can take them on myself. Tell me where. They're not far. I'll show you. Zoom, Tim, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our stick was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Drenkur. He always had me to watch his back, as children and again now. If this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, 
I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin, he has the mighty wolf kissed as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Suniva. No questions asked. For you, I would have done the same. For any of the Raven clan. We know, Drengur. That is why we are sworn to you. This was where Ville saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. I will head back to Hemthorpe and make sure our ravens stand vigilant. Go, Sulin. This area is off limits.
like when we were children getting into trouble and getting away. Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive. Mom, I'm not a fucking genius. Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive, our stick. I saw it's thunder hammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavenga? I do. Kirtri the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools, foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> and the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning, froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <sighs> Were you glad to hear from me? I did wonder what trouble you'd been up to. But I smiled at hearing your name. And I wondered if you had taken after your father. If you were now leading your clan. Well, you have your answer. I'd sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. When my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. But I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable, no matter how glorious it may be? Hey, what is that for? You have friends, Vili. And what about Trukvi? And me? And your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you, and that will not change, unless you push it all away. You... You speak a truth, I understand. Troll-faced stick. <laughs> a chicken draugr! Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda, too. A warder infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, really. This has been... good. Fun, even. Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. I have, fondly. And often enough that it sometimes seemed you never left. Maybe you never did. I... I want you, Eivor. Your warmth. Your touch. 
Billy, no. That will not happen, I'm sorry. Get some rest, huh? Are you going? Ah, uh, with so much on my mind, I haven't slept a wink. The funeral, the chains. I should get back. I understand. I'll see you there. Father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts, all but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. Shield bearing the rune of Gungnir, exalted spear of Odin. May it guide this great man's aim. Eternal be your war strength, Heminger. Drenched in battle dew, may you fight until the Sky Wolf swallows the sun. Stand at my side. Speak from your heart, Heminger-san. Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity, his spirit. In you I see his life and his love of drink. Gods, did he love drink! <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again.
Give him a fine farewell. Sunila, ride to Hemthorpe and prepare the longhouse for the old thing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat. Given their Jarl a fine farewell. They have. None drink so well and so deeply as Clan Hemingerson. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The all thing will begin shortly. You look uneasy. Burdened by grief. Drowning in meat. And paralyzed by a sword. I stand between that man and Yaldum. You stand side by side, really. And one of you must step forward. My father placed us side by side because he trusted your vision. So what do you see? Drunk as you are, I see before me a man full of passion, vigor, and a love for his people. I see a Jarl. Your burden will get easier to bear. Take your father's seat and make it your own. I will. Good. Now let them know our stick. People of Hemthorpe, of Ulkethorpe, of Snottingham. Today I pledge myself. As my father was, I shall be your Jarl. Heminger was a hero, not for who he was, but for the people he led. With Trigvi by my side, with all of you, we will have glory. You've already learned that people prefer shorter speeches to long ones, Vili Jarl. <laughs> it will take time to wear that title with comfort. My father never swore a formal oath with your clan. There was no need, for you are family. Let it be known, the Hemingers and Clan Raven are true sworn friends from this day forward. Do you accept? I. Well? Be fair. 
Be just and call upon us often. Our stick. I'm sure I will. You look well. I bring fair tidings, Runry. Hemming a Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He is their Jarl now, and he has pledged to aid us in times of need. You are a long way from Repton. Do not make pleasant with me, Wolfkist. I know what you did. Did you think you could keep it a secret forever? I cannot say I know what you mean. My brother, Ivar. You banished him to Helheim. Denied him a seat in Odin's hall. You know what he did, Uba. The oaths he broke. The lies he spread. He was my brother. And a king. All this I know. But I do not regret what I did. Speak no more, Eivor. Lies are all you know. I want this settled one on one, fist to fist. Come! Let us see how well a weasel fights. This is your mistake to make. I will not hold back. I will show you all the mercy you showed, Ivar. I would have done the same in my place, Uba. How dare you say such a thing? You did your brother justice by coming here. But you are beaten. I suggest you leave. <clears throat> There's no shame in it. Go, and mourn as you must. Would you have denied me my reward, Eivor, had it come to it? Never. When we meet again, Eivor, may it be as friends. It will be. Look at you, Dewey. Looks like I have a new letter. Oh, a new letter. I should talk to Hytham about my next targets.
I want to see the Alliance map. 